Hello, good morning. I am so excited to be here with you today to start off our five day challenge of create the money in five days or less. And if you don't know me, I'm Dr. Melissa Mann and I am I'm just pumped. I'm so excited about this challenge and it is a challenge for me too. And I'm going to do this challenge along with you and it is I'm like a little nervous about it, but it's like excitement, you know, it's like, are you anxious or are you excited? Because it's a tall ask, right? And what if it wasn't? What if it's ease, joy, and glory to create money and we have made it hard? And I think what we're going to do today is kind of talk about, you know, a little bit of this challenge and what we're cho choosing and doing. And then every day there are action items that we are going to do and participate in and all the things and actually do the thing of creating money. <sighs> so everywhere that you are jumping on, whether it's now or if you're listening in the future and immediately you go into this sort of like ex terrified thing, which is this like excitement and also terrified all at the same time and anywhere that money brings up fear that money brings up um, anxiety that money has a heaviness in your world everything that is can we destroy and uncreate it right wrong good bad pop talk all nine shorts boys pull bats and beyonds and if you're joining me for the first time and this is your first time in anything access consciousness that is the access consciousness clearing statement and i will use it throughout if you would like more information on the clearing statement, you can go to theclearingstatement.com and Dane and Simone explain it very well. And um, basically it's our way of bringing up energy and moving it and clearing it. And it's a lot faster than pretty much anything else I've ever tried ever in changing anything you'd like to change in your life, including your money situation. Whew. So. Barriers down, barriers down, barriers down. We start talking about money and everybody goes like, well, but I'm so aware of it in everybody's world. So everybody, barriers down. Whew. One of the things that when I get stuck on money, I start with a few all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. So let's start there. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. That's five. Whew, if you'd like to do 10, you can do five more on your own. So, okay. From that space, let's begin. It's like, oh, there went so much on the weekend. So. <laughs> oh, and truly, how does it get better than this? And if that's not a question you're asking in your life all the time, start. It is one of the easiest, best ways to change anything in your life, including money. Just asking a question, how does it get any better than this? You get a big bill, you have this moment of, I don't know how to pay for this thing. How does it get any better than this? And be with that because when you ask the universe, how does it get any better than this? The universe has no choice other than to comply and show you how it gets even better than this. So all of the emotional pobads, which is all the things, all the feelings that you are um, avoiding and defending with money. Can we revoke or can't reclaim, rescind, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate all of that? All right, on good, bad, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys, pobads, and beyonds. And everywhere you're using money as a PTSD stimulant, Whew, revoke or can't rescind, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate that. All right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys, pull bads, and beyonds. Okay, so here's what this challenge is going to look like. We're going to start by picking a thing. So whatever that thing is for you uh, that you would like to create the money for. So I want you today to get really present with what your thing is. So... I was doing this about five minutes ago. I was sitting here preparing for the call and I was like, man, I don't even know what my thing is. And so I was kind of looking at like where, like what is it that I'd like to choose that I haven't been willing to choose 
what is it that I was planning to choose anyways that I didn't know where the money was going to come from. And notice that in all of that, I'm using the word choice. So when you choose something, the universe already starts to move molecules in order for that thing to show up. But the number one thing is choice. If you're not choosing it and you're waiting for the money to show up before you will choose it, it doesn't show up. So this is everywhere. I, this challenge really came from, I guess I should back up a little bit. This challenge really came from having a number of conversations with people who are like, I'd really like to choose your book club, but I don't have the money. I'd really like to choose foundation, but I don't have the money. I'd really like to choose this class with Dane, but I don't have the money. I'd really like to blank class thing. I'd like to purchase this car. I'd like to go on this vacation. And it's always followed with the, but I don't have the money. When you use the word, but you negate everything that came before that word. So when you say, I'd really like to blank, but the, I'd really like to blank is like null and void. But what gets heard is I don't have the money and your point of view creates your reality. So when you have the point of view of, I don't have the money, then you don't have the money. So everything that brings up or lets down, we destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys, povats, and beyonds. Okay. So choice. When you choose something, it will show up and it might show up in five days as that is the challenge this week. And it might take a little bit longer if the universe needs to completely rearrange things for it to show up. And for the purpose of this challenge, we're going to see what we can create in five days. And we're going to take the word but out of our vocabulary. So every time you hear the word but come out of your mouth, unless you're talking about your ass, pot and pock, pot and pock, pot and pock. You hear yourself say, but I don't have the money, but I can't, but, 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 but. Everything that is pot and pock. You don't have to know the whole clearing statement. Pot and pock is point of destruction and point of creation. And it's the short version of the clearing statement. Just acknowledge everything that is right around good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys, po bads, and beyonds, or pot and pock. And then you kind of like move beyond it and choose something different. So when you look at what thing you'd like to choose, look at it from choice. And pick a thing that you would like to have in your life. So this conversation started out with a client of mine. We're having this conversation that she wanted to go on a vacation. Um, it was like a friend vacation to Napa. And we were talking about, um, which in the U.S., Napa Valley is like wine country um, in California, Northern California. And so she was talking about wanting to do this trip. And it was led with, but I don't have the money. And I don't know if I should choose the trip or not because I don't have the money. So right there, we hear how I'd like to do this thing, but I don't have the money. So we negate the actual ask because we've already decided I don't have the money. And then her like air conditioning system broke. And she's like, well, now I really can't go because I don't have the money. And so that is what most of us do and what most of us have been taught to do. That's very normal. You're not wrong to be like, oh, this other expense came up. So now I need to pay for that and negate my vacation. What if we didn't do that and we said, okay, cool, universe, show me what can I be, do, have, create, or generate to create the money to pay for this thing that just broke that I need to repair and also go on this trip and do whatever else I'd like to have in my world and it not be, uh, but I don't have the money. So pick your thing for you. I one of the things I want to be realistic with is please don't pick like this is your time to pay a huge bill. This is not about paying bills. This is not about paying off your credit card. This is about choosing to have something or go on a trip or take a class. Do something that is for you, that is for fun, that would be fun to create money for. So this is not to pay off the credit card. This is not to pay for some medical bill. This this is not about that. We can talk about those and other things. Um, I'm actually I'm almost through um, getting out of that joyfully book club. But if you haven't read the book, getting out of that joyfully, it's fantastic for stuff like that. 
and um, and we do lots of other classes around getting out of debt and things like that. But that is not this. So for this, I want you to choose something that is fun for you. That is either a class you haven't been willing to take because of the money or um, or something, a piece of jewelry you'd like to buy, a new coat you want. I don't know why that's popped. Um, something, a dress you wouldn't normally buy. Like the things that would like light up you, your being, your body, etc. And no $200,000 thing. I mean, unless you're already, you know, unless $200,000 for you is like 20, 000, or is like, you know, the equivalent of, you know, 20 bucks for somebody, you know, if you have a shit ton of money, great. But for most of us, please don't pick something massive. You know your range. Um, for some of you, it might be something that's $100. For some of you, it might be something that's $500. For some of you, it might be something that's $1,000 or $2,000 or $5,000. Probably don't go beyond that and not because you can't but because you don't believe you can and part of this challenge is to show you how powerful and potent you actually are and that you can create the money so everything that brings up or lets down can we destroy it and create it right wrong good bad pod pock all nine shorts boys pull bads and beyonds so Here's what I'd like you to do. And this is your kind of assignment for the day. Pick your thing. Start with that. Don't go into the beyonds. You can make a list if you want, but pick one thing. This is not pick seven things. This is pick one thing. If this is fun for you and it works for you this week, great. Pick another thing next week and re-list it. This week, pick one thing. One thing you'd like to choose. Um, I'm choosing, Gary and Dane are doing a call, or Gary, Dane, Simone, and Shannon, are doing a call in August called the Kingdom of Bitch and I've already chosen it I just was like it was one of those things that I was like I don't know where the money is gonna come from but I do that all the time I choose access classes without having the money in hand and always trust that the money will show up and it always does and that is one of the greatest things that I have learned in access is that when I truly choose a class of any monetary value the money always shows up sometimes it's right before the class but it always shows up and the times that it takes, like, where I'm just like up to the minute is where I'm not truly congruent. Where I've been like, yeah, I'm gonna choose this class, I'm chasing this class, I'm taking this class. But there's some part of me that either doesn't know where the money is gonna show up from, and I go into like that, but I don't know how I'm gonna pay for it, right? Or I'm not truly sure that I'm willing to have that much change. And so even though I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go, if there's not like a reason and justification for going other than that I desire to go, like if it's not a prerequisite for something, if it's not, excuse me, if it's not something I like, I need for some reason to like maintain licenses and certifications, sometimes I'll be like, oh, you know, like, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm choosing it. But I like need more of a reason. And so when I'm not congruent, it will take longer for the money to show up. So that's your next thing today. Pick your thing, one, and I'll put all this like in the um, money party group. Once you pick your thing, get really congruent with it and make sure that what you're choosing is something you'd actually like to have. Not something somebody else told you you should have, not something that like you should. I'll take all the shoulds out of it. If it was handed to you for free, is it something you'd actually like? And so with this particular client, we are talking about this trip to Napa, I had asked her if it was free, if somebody was gifting you this, if it wasn't on anybody else, if it was just, if it was not about money at all, would you choose it? And she sort of looked at some of the places where she wasn't necessarily thrilled about it or there was things that weren't quite it, but she kind of like got really congruent. She's like, yes, I, I would, I would like to go. And it's truly, I would like to go on this trip. Cool. So that's where you get really congruent. Ask if money wasn't the issue here, would I truly choose this thing? Then pull all your barriers down and get the, I hate to use the word feeling, but our body feels, our being doesn't, our being perceives. So with your body feel what it would feel like to have this thing that you're asking for. And with your being perceive what it would be like to have the thing that you're asking for what comes up and get excited about it and like allow yourself to know that you're choosing it 
and that you already have it, that it's already being created, then everything that comes up around that, all the stuff that starts popping up, pot and pock everything that comes up. So it's like, oh, but I don't know how that's going to happen, or that doesn't make any sense, or my husband's going to kill me, or my, I can't be that magical, or like whatever, like all these points of view that start to come up, pot and pock all of them as they come. And be aware that it's going to keep happening throughout the week, that every time you have some limited point of view that pops up, or what you believe is like truth, a lot of us love to be, I've always said like, you know, I'm not a pessimist, I'm a realist, you know, shit like that. Like, and you hear people say stuff like that all the time. Of like, well, that's just not realistic. Everywhere that you are trying to be realistic as a way of being normal, average, and real, and the same as everybody else, whew, you destroy and create that. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all names, shorts, boys, po bads, and beyonds. And please acknowledge how magical you actually are. You can create anything you would like to choose if you choose it. So every time all of that stuff comes up, destroy it and create it, pot and pock, and ask everything that doesn't allow this to exist. I destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pock, all nine shorts, boys, po bads, and beyonds. And start every day with all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. And finish every day with all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. If you have been in access at all, you've heard that before. And I don't know, other than when we started this call, the last time you used it. And maybe it was yesterday, maybe you use it every day. It's written on my mirror. And it's been written on my mirror for so long. I was realizing this today, that it's become part of the background. And I don't often use it as much as I used to because it's been there for so long it's like when I lived in the mountains, I started to not notice the mountains anymore. They just become part of the background. So use this as an opportunity, as a possibility to keep playing with all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. I will tell you that this morning I was like, Ugh, I really don't want to get out of bed. I planned to get up a little bit earlier today so I would be live to do this before I started my day. And I was having trouble like motivating. And I was like, all right, Melissa, all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. And I did it sometimes and I got ready, I worked out and I was like, I'm in such a good mood today. And whenever I choose that, it creates something different. So the other thing, a couple other things actually, but I, this is going out of order that I was planning because nothing is ever linear or structured. The joy, money follows joy. So I know you're like, but tell me how to create the money, Melissa. We're just talking about picking our thing and being congruent and choosing. Please acknowledge that that is part of it. Tomorrow we will talk about actually like actualizing the money. Today, I really want you to focus on coming up with your thing, choosing it, being congruent with your choice, pot and pocking everything that comes up, and then go do something today that brings you joy. I know it doesn't make any fucking sense and it works. Money follows joy. When you are having fun, when you are joyful, when you are laughing, when you are doing things that light you up, that is when the money shows up. Not when you're watching your bank account waiting for the thing to drop. Not when you're like, okay, this person owes me money. When are they gonna pay me? When are they gonna pay me? right? It's like watching a pot waiting for the water to boil. It doesn't work that way. And it makes you fucking stressed as hell, which uninvites money. So your true assignment today is once you figure out what you're asking for and get really congruent and pot and pock anything that doesn't allow it, go do something that brings you joy. Whatever that is, go for a bike ride, go have dinner with a friend, go walk in the woods, go Whatever, whatever it is for you, everybody's joy thing is different. And if you're like, I don't even know what brings me joy. Cool. Explore that too. Try some things. And I know so many of us are like, I don't have time. So everything that time is, we destroy it and create that. Whew, right, wrong, good, bad, pot, back, all lane, shorts, boys, po bads, and beyonds. Time isn't actually real. It's a reason and justification that we use to not create our life. So if you are not if you are not using time as a po bad, as something that we avoid and defend with, 
and you could create anything you'd like to create and have joy with anything today. It doesn't have to be for six hours and it can be. What if it was for half an hour? What if it was for an hour? What if it was for 10 minutes? But that you chose something today that just lit up your body and being that truly brought you joy. Maybe you just crank the music and dance around your living room. Whatever it is for you, but find joy today. And the last part for today is don't be vested in the outcome of this. Anywhere you start making this significant, you'll kill it. Anywhere you're like, I must create the money. This is very significant. I have to prove that I can. And like we go into this like ah, intensity thing, you're going to kill it. This is about having fun. This is about ease, joy, and glory and being willing to create your life from choice. So if you catch yourself in that, if you catch yourself in the like investment in the outcome, in the significance, in the making this really meaningful, everything that is pot and pock, pull all your barriers down. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. Turn on some music, get your bars run. Um, do a body process with somebody, do a body process on yourself, run your own bars, do something that brings you joy and let go of being vested in the outcome. That's why we're not even starting with like, what can you choose today for the money? Today we're choosing with actually asking. And that's where it starts with anything is the value in the ask and really asking the universe. And one more thing about that, when you ask the universe for something, it's just like the word, but, the word want is equally toxic. Like get that out of your vocabulary. Don't say, okay, this is my ask. I want this. No, we don't want things. Want means to lack. So when you say, I, I, I want this, you're saying I lack this. And the universe is like, cool, you lack that. And we'll not gift it to you, right? So what would you like to have is a great way of saying like, I would like to have this. I'm asking for this. Just as you're using your verbiage, your words have energy. So just be aware of that, that when you're, whatever it is your ask is, I would like to have this and acknowledge, acknowledge the gift of choice today and that you are indeed magical and you can create anything you'd like to create and anywhere that you have not acknowledged how magical you actually be. Whew. We revoke, recare, ascend, reclaim, renounce, announce, destroy, and create that. All right, wrong, big, bad, pop, pop, all lame, shorts, boys, pull, bads, and beyonds. So how much fun can we have today? So I think that's it for day one. I will post all of those little things and like a written text in the, um, in the group. I'm going to pin this video to the top of the Money Party group. I know that there's lots of stuff in this group. I've been doing 30 by 30 challenges and all sorts of other stuff. And Facebook does this thing where they like scramble things, which is very annoying. I think it's based on algorithm, but I don't know. Um, all the AI stuff, bottom pock. So I will, um, I will pin this to the top of the page so that you can find it. Invite your friends. This is free. This is fun. Um, let it be fun. This is a fun thing. Okay. Please don't make this serious and like anything other than fun. <laughs> okay. And um, and tomorrow we'll start like kind of diving into like where's where's the money going to come from right but today i really want you to try to not do that if you find that coming up just pot and pocket today just be congruent and present with your ask and then go have fun okay i will see you guys tomorrow and um and feel free to post questions in um anywhere in the group actually but like under this video or um under like the the written thing i'm going to put in here uh, feel free to like put any questions and anything coming up, any awarenesses. If you want to post your asks, by all means. And if you don't, you don't have to. Um, you know, obviously it's it's what will create the most for you. But sometimes it's fun to see what other people are asking for. And sometimes it gives you ideas. So um, Dane does this uh, monthly magic being group where like he does an ESB uh, once a month and then he does like another call once a month and for the ESBs there's this telegram chat where everybody like posts their asks and it's so cool to see what everybody else is asking for and sometimes it's like that energy shopping thing of like oh I'll have that oh that too and that too and um and I realized for this week I'm like just pick one thing but be willing to you know allow for whatever shows up this isn't one year so all right I'm gonna go I will see you guys tomorrow have a fantastic day bye